No, very, but I was very nervous. Like, I remember I was standing to the corner, just dancing, like a little nervous dance, trying to see who my opponent is because I did not know who my opponent was going to be. So, first, and I only, at this point, I only had, I believe, I want to say two to three months of training. And I was just ready to go in there, just get the butterflies out of the way. I'm like, you got to start somewhere. So, this was my first bout. I was extra nervous. I ended up, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm gonna just, we're just going to watch it together. So, this is the first one. And my mindset for this one, uh, well, my mindset was, I'm just going to come out and... Uh, I'm going to be aggressive. Like, you guys can say, I'm already almost in the center. Like, that was my whole goal. Like, be on front center, be on front foot. Uh, I believe this was a 152. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 152 pounds in the 152 pound division. So, uh, let's get started. Let me, okay, sorry. So, the round starting, this guy come on throwing the hair maker on my head. And I get even more nervous after that. Because, uh, so this guy, he had way more experience than me, like, over a year. Because he fought one of my teammates before I even uh, started comp training. And my coach was talking about, okay, this your opponent might be this guy, and he's going to come out throwing haymakers. So that kind of made me nervous because, you know, my first ever one, I, I'm like, I don't want to get knocked out. I don't want to uh, teammates and stuff so he come out throwing a haymaker i ducked under it by just a little bit then this is this is just nervous right here i'm like okay let me just let me do something to uh get him but oh my god look, look at my shoulders right there though hold on it was cut but anyways so yeah we get back and i'm just uh trying to be more aggressive than he is pushing back you know i'm trying to uh have my dominance in there too. Oh my god, look at my job. <laughs> see right look y'all can see I'm shaky. Oh my god. My feet is not under me. I was I was I, I will say this I did not leave uh no stone unturned like I train bro like I train like I really give it all I got so it was no stone left on turn so i was pretty i wasn't confident in my skills but i was confident in my uh in the physical area as far as strength and conditioning goes i was pretty uh i wasn't worried about that part like i wasn't worried about gassing or anything so you know here we're just going back and forth and you know i'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to throw punches, man. I'm just trying to throw punches. We're hugging a little bit too much right now. And, you know, as soon as I come in, he keeps throwing haymakers. Like, I really, my plan was to really, he pushed me over there. My plan was to really walk him down and be aggressive. But I, every time I get a little closer, he throw a haymaker. And that was making me a little bit hesitant. And as you guys can see, as soon as I throw, I move back and I go away. So... Ref just breaking us up. But I could feel right here, he was getting like a little bit tired, I would say. Like, I kind of started hearing him breathe heavy a little bit. I, I started not hard. Not hard. Okay, left hand right there. See, I'm just, I'm just throwing, man. I'm just throwing it. He's throwing too. No, this first one, I don't even know how you would score this one, honestly. I know how you would score that one. But I can see that going either way. Because honestly, we both didn't really do anything. It was just both of us throwing haymakers. So if you give that round to him, I can see why. If you give it to me, I can see why. So it was uh no, it was a pretty close round. Okay, now we're gonna um, wait for the okay back a little bit more so right now this is the second right and you you guys can see like my stamina was there you see how i came out the stool 
standing, I'm not breathing heavy, none of that. Strength and conditioning was there. Just the skills were not there. Here, I'm throwing a shy jab. I'm trying to get him off me. I forgot what my coach told me. Really forgot. Um, but I, I'm just, I'm just trying to, still scared. Look at me, scared, hopping back. But I was landing sometimes, though. You know, I was, I was landing sometimes. And uh, like I, you guys can see, he's trying to, he's starting to slow down a little bit. And I was kind of feeling that this is where like my strength and conditioning really came into play. And say so he's still swinging. <laughs> oh my God. This is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> uh, right here, okay. That was a nice little job. Okay, another job to the body. So he swing, he caught me there good. Well, not caught me, but you know, he hit me with a good shot. Caught like in boxing, or like my gym, when you say caught means like. You know, punch someone so hard that they get spaghetti legs. You know, we use that. We use cop for that. So, boom! Right there, he got me. I was I was trying to throw a jab and exit out. Uh, right here, I was trying to throw a jab and exit out, but he caught me as I was uh, trying to exit out. Uh, actually, it was a hook. Beat me to the punch. <clears throat> so, <laughs> right here. Uh, I was I was watching Canelo a lot, so what he would do is raise his well, he's an orthodox. He would raise his uh, right hand like you know his but the right hand punch, and then he throw a left hook uh, to the body. So that's what I try to do right here. I try to fake a left hand and then throw my but I got <laughs> but I got cut in the middle. Of it. I remember my coach got so mad at me because he thought I just raised my hand. Like no, I'm, I'm just. It kind of worked a lot, but this will actually come back to be good. You guys will see why in the second one, in the third round. I will use the same trick, but it will work that time. Maybe it was because he was tired that time, so his reactions were not as on point. See, he's slowing down a little bit. See, I'm starting to land. Now this is where my confidence started growing a little bit, because I started landing more. Cause he's still coming. These runs will be so hard to score as a judge, man. I don't know. See, that one too, it can go either way, to be honest. Not even gonna lie. Oh, y'all can see, like, I remember I got out of my corner so fast because I wanted to show him, like, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. So I got out of my corner so fast. I'm busting up and down, showing him that I'm not tired. And he's still sitting. And I'm not gonna lie, seeing him sitting down there while I'm standing, that gave me motivation. I, I kind of think that, because this was his boxing gym, I kind of think that they saw he was tired and they, they might have cheated on that rest time, but you know, it's not. He tried to touch gloves, and my coach was telling me this whole week do not touch no gloves, even the ref smacked out his hand. So right here, I'm just like, okay, bro. I'm just like, come on, you fell his best shot. Like, come on, let's go, man. Stop being scared. So, see, I'm still trying to be aggressive. But I know, like, he, he's throwing haymakers, so I gotta be, I can't just be coming in. I gotta be careful. See, y'all see me? Y'all see me? Keep pushing me off there, see? I saw that. He's getting a little bit more sloppy. I mean, I look sloppy too, but he's slowing down. Nice job to the body. He got me on that third punch, but I think I blocked the first two. <laughs> Look at my uppercut. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I just <laughs> Did I just try to jump with that uppercut? Oh my god. Look at this uppercut. Oh not that one. <laughs> and I think I went back a little too far. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he caught me with that right hook. I got, I had my guard a little too open there because the up. I didn't. <laughs> that's the one, no damage, man. And I, see, I, I still have the stamina. See, right here, that's a nice job. This is what I should have been doing the whole fight. Like this little sequence you guys are about to see, in my head, 
you know, when you're sleeping, you're thinking about how to fight. This is how I imagine I will be fighting. Like, you know, so this was my mindset. This was my game plan. Obviously, they didn't look like that, but I showed a little spark. And I remember watching this video back. That's what gave me a little hope. I'm like, okay, we just need to tighten up a lot. You know, I got a lot to work on, but I can do stuff like this. You know, it gave me a little confidence. So right here, we throw a job. He's exhausted. I see his body's low open, so I went for the straight to the body. Okay, so you guys remember that Canelo technique, right? So I throw a jab, you know, you know, hit him in the stomach. Now watch. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know if you guys, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm about to hit him in the stomach again. But then I'm gonna come up top instead, and that's what caught him off guard. So boom, boom. Like I, I just pretend like I, I, it was so. You, I don't think this is a good angle for. I think the other angle is better. So I, I pretend like, and I just faked it, man. And I, I remember I threw this right hook so hard. Like to this day, I remember I, I did put a lot into that. I did put a lot into that right hook. See, I, I lift my left hand a little bit just to make him react to it. Just to make him do a little bit of reaction. And uh, I throw the right hook. And here, I heard him bad, but I, you guys don't understand. I was so nervous, I didn't even realize I had him hurt. I heard everybody screaming like, oh. Like, you know, my teammates were going you know, crazy, but I didn't even realize I had him hurt like this. <laughs> and when I watched this video back, I was so mad. I remember my coach. Uh, we was joking about it like all the time till recently too and I was just like bro I heard him and I grabbed him up y'all gonna say he gonna grab my hand and I grabbed him up I'm like bro so and also this is when I know okay I got power you know I got a little bit of power you know a little something, something. okay boom you see I'm, I'm helping him I'm helping hold him up he was hurt Swing, swing. This is when I, I kind of smell blood. Like, I knew he was exhausted. I can tell by his body language. So I, this right here, I'm just... See, I don't know how this was not... I'm telling you, that hometown that was treating my boy good. Because this... I don't know how this didn't count as a knockdown. First of all, he should have gotten a tank uh, and automatic A count because I rocked him. And this is amateur. But they didn't give him that. And right here, look. I cut him with a left hook. He drops down. I stopped because I'm thinking ref is coming in, you know, to give him an A count, but he just told me go back in. Like, I was so confused. I'm telling you, that hometown, they be cheating, right? Refs, refs be treating the hometown people. Look, he drops down. I'm thinking ref says stop. I'm thinking A count, but he's so my coach, like, get back in there. So, you know, I just, but I, what I should have done is, uh, what I should have done instead was coming, throw that one, two. Oh my God, I'm leaning. I'm leaning with that two. That's so but I should have just throw that two, keep my distance, so that way I can, boom, rip the body, rip the head, you know. But instead, I get all up close to him, and now I can't even throw my punches. I'm jumping up and down. Oh my God. Oh God, this is so crazy. And uh, yeah, that that was it. That was it right there. That was the fight. <laughs> that was the fight. I remember when that last bell rang, I was so, the adrenaline I had was crazy. Because I was thinking, wow, you did that, man. You just, your first ever uh, amateur boxing, you did that. Like, you, like, that was. All those bad thoughts you had, you were scared and everything, but you know, you still pull through, man. Like, you know, so I was, I remember I was very proud of myself for that. Like, I didn't even care. I mean, obviously, I wanted to win, but just the fact that I, see, I'm already taking pictures because I'm like, I won that, especially off of that third round. I'm like, I won that. And my coach is like, yeah, you got that. It was close, though, I'm not going to lie. The first two could have gone either way. But I know for sure I had that third run because I rocked them and I dropped them, but even though they didn't count. So I knew for sure I had that third run. Y'all see me hopping up and down. 
all excited. I still got stamina, bro. <laughs> I could still go another round. I did not, did not leave any stone unturned. I'm smiling, I'm happy and stuff. I was so excited, man. I was just proud of myself. Like, this is something I never thought I'd do because I just never thought I would have the <laughs> the ball to ever, you know, step in a ring with another person, you know, and compete, especially in the sport like this. So I was always very scared, like a scared, timid person. So it's just this. Yeah, even me talking about it right now, I'm just reminiscing. Because <laughs> I'm like, dang, yeah. So, you know, they announced me as the winner. I won. I'm opening up the ring for me, just being good sportsmanship. But yeah, guys, that was my first ever amateur bout. I have a lot. Uh, I'll, I'll break them. I, have a, I don't have all the footages, but I have a lot of my fights, though. So. I'll be breaking down some other ones and I'll probably just, honestly, I'll just be, I'm just going to be uploading whatever, like, you know, uh, advice, whether it's advice, breaking down some boxing films, like talking about, like everything, you know, so, all right, that'll be it for me. I hope you guys have a good one.